A severe thunderstorm consists of wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or greater, hail that is one inch in diameter or greater, that's about the size of a quarter, and tornadoes. Lightning and heavy rain are not included but often accompany severe thunderstorms. When a severe thunderstorm forms, the National Weather Service will issue a severe thunderstorm warning for the areas impacted by the storm. But you can find out if severe weather will be possible in your area long before the storms show up. You'll see this forecast graphic on 9 News throughout the severe weather season. It's called the Severe Thunderstorm Risk Outlook. This one is for Tuesday afternoon. The shaded area shows you where severe storms are most likely to form, and those areas will be shaded in different colors. Green is for what's called a marginal risk. That means the storms are expected to be isolated, possibly just one or two thunderstorms, and they are likely to be in the lower end of the severe thunderstorm definition. Yellow is called a slight risk. That means the storms could be scattered, which is just a little bit more coverage than isolated, and they could be a little stronger. Orange is called an enhanced risk. That's when the storms are expected to be numerous and stronger. Colorado rarely gets a moderate or high risk, but those categories include widespread storms at the highest levels of severe weather. These outlooks are usually issued 24 to 48 hours in advance of severe weather. Bigger storms can be predicted three days in advance or more. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.